All right, Chester, there are so many things that I could ask you about your career and playing football and being with the Titans, but I'm skipping all of that for okay, right now. Okay, okay. I want to start with the fact that before you were a football player, you were an actor. Right, correct, correct. Okay, tell me about this and how your acting career started, because you're not from California. No. You're from Alabama. Right, I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, I started, I got into my acting career around 9 to 10 years old. Um, my first movie was Constellation with Billy D. Williams and Gabrielle Union. Um, I got casted for the role of the young Billy D. Williams. Um, we shot it in my hometown, actually, uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Um, after my first movie, like all the producers and directors were like, they told my mom, you got to get this kid out to L.A. So um, I moved out to L.A. for four years, went to middle school there, landed some big roles, and I just kept, you know, kept doing it. I was having fun. I loved it. Towards the end, uh, I kind of told my mom I just wanted to go back and be a kid again. And, I got back into football and now I'm here. I mean, you've really been in some movies with people that a lot of people would know. Right. You know, names that people have heard. Tyler Perry, Gabrielle Union, like you said. I mean, big names. Did you get to interact with these people? Like, Absolutely. how Hollywood were you? <laughs> it was, honestly, it became so normal that it didn't feel Hollywood, but you know, I'm I'm doing movies with Cuba Gooden Jr. You know, I, I've met Jamie Foxx, Chris Rock, you know, you name them. Like, I was living in the apartment complexes with all these guys. Um, one of the guys that was random, but it was Rick James. Like we stayed in the same, you know, apartment complex, and I would see him in the grocery store. And you know, but it's so nor it was normal because you know everybody's just regular out there. But yeah, you know, that was the that was the upside of it. So how do you then make the transition from you know what? I think I'm done with this. I think I'm gonna go play football now. Well, really, it wasn't that I was gonna be done with it. I just wanted to go be with my friends again and. We never made it back out to LA because like I said, um, I got good at football again and just took it from there. So uh, actually, I do plan on going back to acting once I'm done with football. So I didn't put it a bit. Is there any crossover from being an actor in Hollywood and having some of those acting skills and being an NFL player? It seems like they're on two separate ends of the spectrum. Yeah, but um, I kind of I kind of challenge it as the same. You know, uh, when it's time for game time, it's like, flipping that switch, you know, just like with acting. When, when the director says, action, it's time to go, you flip a switch, you get in the character. So I'm kind of like, it's the same as football, you know? Monday night, I'm gonna flip that switch and it's, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be an actor, you know? Good, good, man. Ain't nothing like Monday night football, baby. It's gonna be a show tonight. Just tune in. Being here with the Tennessee Titans, we've seen you kind of grow into a role and be more of a contributor. You're on the field a lot more. What has clicked here with the Titans? It's genuine, you know, uh, the, from all the way up to uh, the GM and down to the training staff, uh, everybody embraces me, I feel wanted, and you know, it's just a great situation. I just feel like I'm in the right place at the right time, and I'm just taking advantage of it. Being a part of this team as it's grown throughout the season, how proud are you to have been a part of that growth? Oh man, it's, it's, it's a blessing, man. I'm, I'm super excited to be a part of it because it's a great group of guys. And we all have a, you know, a common goal, you know, at the end of the season, what we're striving for. So, like I said, I'm embracing it and I enjoy it. So you're going to go as long as you can and then one more ticket back to Hollywood? Yeah, when I, once I'm done, once I hang the cleats up, I'll probably be back in L.A., you know, uh, doing some things. What is your dream role? My dream role? Um... I don't have to sound cliche, but I was talking to some, some of my friends and just my story, my life story, but some of my friends, I think it would be a great story, you know, to pitch, you know, uh, everything I've done in life. I would love to, you know, be in my own, my own movie. Well, then who plays you in your movie? Me. You play you? Absolutely, absolutely. Ah. Not as a kid, but you know, as I get older, I would, I would, I would play myself. Uh, I would love to do that. I'd watch that movie.